Hello everyone and welcome back. So, something a tad different today, kicking it back to like old school YouTube. I'm sat on my floor and I'm bringing you an everyday makeup look. Now, I'm an all or nothing person when it comes to doing my face. I'm either full glam or just bare and basic. You won't really find an in between. So on days I do fancy doing my makeup, this is the look that I do. And I'm actually working with Look Fantastic on this video to share with you all the products that I use on my face today that are available on the website. So if you are interested in anything that I do show or you just want to shop some new makeup products, then all the links will be in the description as well as my discount code, which is Amy M, to save you 20% off the Look Fantastic site, which I think is such a good deal because a lot of sites you either can't include the beauty products in the discount or it's like a one-time use code, whereas this, you can use it as and when you please. So if you need any top-ups, now is your time to do so because you can save some money. But with that being said, I'm just going to stop labbing and let you see how I achieve this everyday basic soft glam, not really, just a mediocre makeup look. So we are going to start off with brows. I like them um, flat but full and to achieve that I'm going to use a brow soap and I feel like I've used a lot in the past but never the actual soap brows company and I was having a scroll through Look Fantastic and I saw that they actually did different versions of it so obviously they have the original but then they had a tinted one and also an extra hold so that is the one that I picked up it's just in a little black tin and obviously you basically just wet it and use a spoolie to activate and it does actually come with a spoolie as well so that is what we're going to use to sort out these mess of brows i always just seem to do this first because then if there's like residue around my eyebrows i can wipe it off before i go with like foundation or anything i feel like it'd be a lot more awkward if i did it the opposite way around and did my brows after i already had a base on so i'm just gonna use that on the spoolie and the spoolie already does come like bent so you can shape it perfectly to your brows which I think is really handy. So we're just going to give that a little wiggle. Me spoolie wiggle wiggles in the soap so that my eyebrows can hold. And to be honest I don't like them too neat. I just want to make sure that they're held down on my face so that they don't fall throughout the day because my eyebrows are not the thickest. So by doing the soap brows it gives it kind of the illusion that they are. So I want that to last on my face. So I'm just going to brush that through. Obviously because I've never tried the original one I don't know what to expect with this so I can't compare it to see if it is any you know more extra hold but as long as it works I'm happy. And then I'm just going to flatten the top a little bit just so they're not too spiky. We don't want them looking like Simon's hair from in between us. I always find like the step of doing your brows is really boring which is why I never include it in videos. Anyways, we're going to move on to a brow pencil because that is all I use. I used to be a hardcore dip brow girl back in the day, if you ever witnessed my brows back then. Sincere apologies if you did because holy moly. I'm going to be trying a new brow pencil which I've never used before and this is the NYX Precision Brow in the shade Ash Brown. I don't go too crazy with this, I just make myself have a little bit of a tail at the end because my brows aren't really shaped well and then I'll just fluff out the front of them to give them a little bit of shape and texture. And that is them done super quick and easy. I try not to make them too neat because if I do I won't be able to match them up. This is the best we're gonna get. It's just nice. I like that you can still see the brow hairs and they don't look like one solid flat colour on my face. So I'm now gonna moisturise and do my base. I have already applied sun cream this morning but I just used the Bondi Sands SPF 50 which you can actually get on look fantastic. And then to moisturise I'm gonna be using the Willada Skin Food Light and they do also have the thick version on there or the original as well but I'm obsessed with this. I've been using it every day recently and it's become my new favourite moisturiser. I see why everybody and their mum loves this stuff and I have quite dry skin so I lather my entire face in this stuff and it feels like my makeup always applies a lot nicer when I have like a wet prepped base. That sounds absolutely disgusting but that is just what works for me. So we are gonna rub it all in. I'm obsessed with the smell of this. If you watch my last video, you'll know that I said it smells like a spa. I know not a lot of people are fans of like a heavy scented moisturiser because the skin might not agree with it. So if that's the case, this might not be for you. But obviously there is plenty of other moisturisers out there for you to try. However, this one is my new fave. I bought it, love it. And then to prime my face, I'm gonna be using my favorite CRA Watermelon Burst Hydrating Primer. I've had this for a while now, but they do actually stock this on Look Fantastic. And it just comes with this little pink pump. 
and I just whack that all over my face. I love the smell of this as well. It's very summery, but it's nice and light. It do not feel too like thick and sticky on your face. Then for foundation, if you know me, my one true love is the Ordinary Foundation. So I picked up two from Look Fantastic. I usually use the coverage one in the shade 2.0 YG Light Yellow, which is here. This is like my everyday one, which I love. But I wanted to try the serum one, so I picked it up in the exact same shade. Again, 2.0 YG Light Medium. And then I also got another coverage foundation in a slightly darker shade, which is 2.1 Y Medium. Just because I'm a little bit tired from my holiday, so I might have to do a little mix. But I'll quickly just take these out so we can have a look at the shades. Oh god, that 2.1 Y actually is a lot darker than the other shade. This is my original coverage foundation in 2.0 YG. This is the coverage foundation in 2.1 why and then this is the serum in 2.0 yg and to say these are the same shade the serum one does look a little bit lighter so i might just put this one to the side for a bit now and maybe mix both of the coverage ones so i have the perfect shade maybe i'm not sure i might just do a little bit on my cheek and see because i do think this one is going to be a tad bit too dark so we shall just give it a go but these kind of have like a little lock pump which is really helpful because you don't want it like spilling all over your drawer but these are such affordable foundations and i don't think i'll ever find one which i love more than this it's like my everyday go-to i'm obsessed so as i said this one is my usual shade which when it is blended in it does obviously go a lot darker it doesn't stay that light it oxidizes a tiny bit and then this is the new shade which might need a few pumps which is looking a lot darker oh my god i did really bad shade match jesus i really just thought this was like the next shade up from the one i already had so i was like oh easy but clearly not because that is like straight up orange on my face i definitely think it is going to be best if we mix these shades so that is what i am going to do just on the back of my hand and then we'll just plop that all over see that already looks 10 times better if this was a shade in ordinary it would be my perfect match however we're going to just work with what we have and if i have to mix i have to mix and that's fine absolutely fine also if you're new here i never apply foundation on my head because it is a lot darker than the rest of my face because it just naturally tans faster so we avoid that but if you have never used the ordinary foundation coverage or serum i would highly recommend that you do i think it's around like six pounds which is such a cheap price for foundation it always just looks so flawless on the skin it's just a nice lightweight everyday foundation which i've been using and loving for many many years now but i just absolutely love it and i think mixing those shades has actually worked really well for me today like i said super affordable and if you want to get some money off use the code amm and you'll get this for even cheaper okie dokie so concealer i have one of the best out there i know it's an oldie but it's a goodie and that is the maybelline instant eye eraser i picked up the shade 07 this is a good like trusty concealer i always feel super guilty getting a new one of these because i hate to ruin the little powder puff on the top but i do think it makes application a lot easier and it all just gives you like a super flawless under eye so has that come out yet oh tiny bit we'll go a little bit more we're just gonna pop this underneath oh no it's not come out fully yet hang on amy don't get ahead of yourself i'm just gonna pop this underneath the eyes i don't go too crazy with concealer like that is good enough for me and then i'll let it sit in the face and i'll just blend it in and then i'm gonna take the darker shade which i have which is shade caramel and open this one we're going to use it as a cream bronzer because obviously it's a concealer so it's going to blend really nice and well and seamlessly with the foundation base just might be here a while I'm waiting for this to wind up there we go i'm gonna do like little okay maybe that's not dark enough for contour on me today could have got a dark shade but we're gonna work with it anyways We'll just blend this out in the meantime. So that is that, super easy. I just love how fast this blends. Lovely stuff. So I'm gonna quickly blend out this, I would say bronzer, but I got the wrong shade. So it's more just like a extra layer of concealer on my cheeks. But it might work well as a good base for my powder bronzer, which is absolutely fine. See how quick and easy that just blended out. I barely even had to touch my face with the brush. I just love this stuff so much. And again, it's Maybelline, so it's super cheap. That's one thing actually, with a lot of my makeup products, I try keep it affordable. Just because 
if I find something I love, it's more of a heartbreak having to fork out loads of money for it when I run out of a product. Where if it, whereas if it's a cheap product and I use it up, I don't mind because I can just repurchase it and it's not going to break the bank. That is that blended. We're going to do a little bit of cream blush. Now, I've not tried this one before, but I thought it looked really cute. This is the Barry M Fresh Face Cheek Tin in the shade Peach Glow. I'm going to pop this on and we shall see how it looks. I love a bit of blush. Especially cream in the summer. Oh my god, that is way too much, Amy. Jesus. As I was saying, especially cream blush in the summer because it just is like light and I don't know. I just love how it looks on my face, basically. So I'm going to get me a little brush. It's just like a light, natural flush, I guess. Nothing too crazy, which is nice because I have been very heavy handed with blush in the past and I look back at photos of myself like, what was you thinking? But this is just almost like a natural flush that your face would get if you're either sunburnt, sweating, or embarrassed, which I'm one of those things right now. Sweating, I'm not gonna lie, I'm melting. But that is that. Before it all slides off my face in this heat, we are gonna use the Makeup Revolution Banana Powder, which if you don't already know is my favorite powder, then where have you been? I have had the exact same pot of it since I first started using it and it's still not run out. This is the old packaging. And then I thought, you know what, Amy, just get yourself a new one because this is grim, many years expired and you just need to get rid. And this is the new packaging. That is how long I've had this. You can literally see the upgrade that Revolution have had. And this one is so ready for the bin now. So we're going to crack open a fresh new banana powder. I don't think I'll ever find anything to replace this. It's my little baby and I love it so much. I'm excited to see if this actually applies different because for all I know, this could be like crusty by now because it's that old. So we're going to see but I'm just so happy to have a new little pot of this. It is my fave. I mean, it's been that long since I've had one. I've actually forgot how to bloody open the thing. I'm losing my voice. Oh my God, already I can actually tell that comes out so much more like fine. The one I have before is like almost chunky. They might have changed the formula, I'm not sure, but yeah, that just really shows how expired this is. Anyways, I'm gonna use just a little fluffy brush like this. And I'm not gonna like bake or anything because I have super dry skin and I feel like it just makes it look really cracked and just not cute. So I just lightly dust this under my eyes just to set all the wet products and instantly like just look at the difference. <sighs> I love, I've never been happier to have a new one of these. I don't know why it's taken me so long to get one because like I said, it's like five or six pounds if that. I've just held on to that old tub for so long. I think it's just because of how little you need, it just lasts a lifetime. But I forget that obviously makeup has end dates and it's probably not the best to be using products that old on my skin anymore. So this is just a dream to apply right now. So I'm now gonna use a powder bronzer on my face just to warm it up slightly. And I have been dying to try this product because I have a Physicians Formula blush, which I swear by it is the nicest powder blush I own. So I really wanted to try the bronzer because this was such a hyped product. And they've recently changed the packaging, I think, because this is different to the blush I already own, which I much prefer. I must say, if I can get it out. It's all like blue and green island theme. I'm a big fan, but I picked up the shade Deep. We're just gonna pop this on my cheeks. I just love like an easy, light bronze. I don't want something like too heavy. I want it to just look like I've actually achieved a suntan look, which I feel like this is doing pretty well. It's not adding too much to the face, but it's enough products so you can actually see it. It's not like doing nothing. I can see it's making a slight difference, which is good. I'm just gonna bring a little bit down the neck. That's one thing, right? I swear my neck never tans. Anyways, I'm just gonna quickly put on a little bit of lip balm because my lips are feeling a tiny bit dry. Now, I am so excited about this because I've seen this all over and it is the Sol de Janeiro Brazilian Kiss Lip Balm. First of all, just look how chunky this is. I love it. But second of all, I'm obsessed with their Skin Bum Bum Butter Cream. It's definitely not called that, but it's one of my favorites and the scent is just unmatched. So I was hoping that this smells the same. So we are gonna give it a whirl. Oh my God, look at that, it's just so thick. It kind of has the same like hint, but this to me smells like flapjacks, like proper like flapjacks, like golden syrup. I mean, it is a lip balm. I'm not gonna expect much as long as it makes them soft. That is all that matters. Oh my God, this smells like a dream. Stop it. 
definitely going to be lavering my lips in this before kissing the boy because I feel like it would be much appreciated from him because it smells divine. I'm going to pop on some eyeshadow. If you know me, I'm not someone that goes for anything colourful on the eyes. I'm basic through and through. I used to be adventurous, but now just give me a brown eyeshadow and I'm a happy gal. So I picked up these two from the brand eCooking, which I've actually tried some skincare from in the past. And I just thought this would be a lot easier for like makeup storage, not having a big palette to clutter up. It's just two like little individual shades and then the more shoe shades that go on my eyelids. So I thought it was perfect. So we have shade five, which is more of like a light, all over the lid brown shade and then we have shade seven which i'll probably use if i was doing like a dark line or like a smoky wing with the eyeshadow i go super messy with this i'm not precise in the slightest and i just want like an all over shade kind of that like natural i'm so jealous of people that have like the natural pigment to their eyes because i feel like it looks so pretty especially on like no makeup days but unfortunately i'm not blessed with that so we have to fake it with brown shadow that is kind of the look I just try to achieve. For lashes, I'm very excited about this because I'm not sure if this is like the original one because I'm pretty sure it got discontinued many, many years ago. But back on like old school YouTube, everyone used to talk about the L'Oreal Telescopic and I've never tried it. And I saw that they had it on Look Fantastic and I was like, hey, you're coming home with me. So let's see how this looks. Oh, it's got a blue brush. One thing I hate is like those thick, fuzzy brushes because I was end up stabbing myself in the eye with them, so. This is like the perfect wand. That is one thing I wish I was blessed with. Naturally long eyelashes. Not even long, just a bit more than what I have now because if I don't wear makeup, I look like I have no eyelashes. Like they're that short and stumpy that they're almost invisible. That is not too shabby. However, I'm gonna be putting eyelashes on so it doesn't really matter how it performs. Anyway, so. For lashes, I have two pairs. I thought I'd get more of like an affordable pair and then a pricey pair. Oh, the pricey pair aren't too pricey to be honest. They're like in the teens. The drugstore lash I got is ones I've seen all over TikTok because people say they look almost like extensions. And these are the Ardell Eco Lash in the style 455. Super fluttery and nice. And I think these will work really well for this look. I'm tempted to actually use these today. But I did also pick up the Lily Lashes in the style Icy. They kind of have more length in like the center. If you can just see the difference between them both there. I really don't know now. I've just looked at the Lily Lashes. I'm just gonna see which one suits my eye best and then we'll go from there. But I did also pick up some new Duo Lash Glue because mine was looking old and crusty. So that's what I'm gonna be using. This is the Quick Set, which I know not a lot of people like the Quick Set, but it's the only one that actually holds them on my face and doesn't pop off throughout the day. So. That is what I love to use. Okay, yeah, I've decided I'm gonna use the Lily Lashes. Lashes are always such a tedious step. I'm terrified of cutting too much off when I trim them. They're always so fiddly, but the end result just makes it so much more worth it because they just bring a look together. And I don't think I could ever do makeup without them. Right, oh my God, crisis averted. My eyes have stopped streaming, the lashes are stuck. We're gonna move on to lips. So I have a bunch of new products here to try. Obviously at the start, like I said, I did just quickly pop on the Soldier Janeiro Brazilian Kiss, which I now love. But for lips, a lot of the products here are Doll Beauty. So I picked up two lipsticks in the shade Cella V and Come To Mama. Now I couldn't tell online which one of these I prefer, so I just picked up both. And we can see in person but they have a really nice like pink bullet packaging, which is just so nice and sleek. It's very like nostalgic, old school YouTube vibe when we'd all like have them stored in plastic packaging on those desks, like the clear acrylic containers. Anyways, this one is the shade Come To Mama and it is a gorgeous light brown nude, which is kind of what I was wanting. And then I also picked up Cella V, like I said, and this is more, oh, they're very similar. This is more of like a peachy, orange nude and they have like love heart imprints on them which is really nice i think i'm going to use the more brown tone one though which was come to mama and then i did grab a lip liner as well from doll beauty because i thought it'd be nice just to match so this one is in the shade dream on so we're gonna line his lips with that first i try not to go too crazy with lip liner i don't really have a natural lip shape which is like defined and nice so i do fake it with this but i don't go like ott i almost don't want to ruin the shape of this but I'm gonna just go in for it. Oh my god, yes! This is like the exact lip shade I've been looking for. 
the nude where it's almost like virgin on concealer lips vibe but then when you have the lip liner with it it doesn't look as crazy of a contrast i'm just gonna put a little bit more lip liner on top though just because that bottom lip is a bit too right but that is honestly like my dream lip color that is perfect and then to go on top i did just pick up a lip gloss because i've seen this everywhere this is the maybelline lifter gloss in the shade ice or two and it looks like a really pretty baby pink but i'm pretty sure this just comes out like a clear nudie color so we're gonna pop this on i'm all, oh my god i'm always like wanting to smell glosses that is like marshmallows wow so i'm just gonna oh it's a really nice like thick applicator top the lips with this to be honest this oh no i've gonna ruined it ah this would look really nice just by itself as like a matte lip combo but i love me some gloss so oh it's nice it's not sticky either it's more like a lip oil sort of vibe and i'm pretty sure they do loads of nice like colors in this maybelline lifter gloss as well but this is such a nice just like natural pretty shade and then to set my face my favorite mist to use is the anastasia dewy set but i'm on like my last few drops of this and i saw them look fantastic that they actually did a miniature version adorable adorable so now i have a cute little combo of these but if you've not tried it it is beautiful it is my favorite of all time it's like got a summer coconutty fresh scent and it's just perfect and the packaging i mean 10 tens everywhere oh my god it's so nice a minus my watery eye that is my completed everyday makeup look using all products from look fantastic so if you guys did enjoy this video you know what to do and if you want to check out any of the products all links will be in the description box along with my discount code for you to save 20 percent off the entire look fantastic website with amy m so i hope you guys did enjoy this i've had so much fun it's been so long since i've sat down and done like a chatty makeup video and it's felt good it's taken me back to like old school youtube and i'm just like sat on my floor talking with you guys and i've loved it so that is it for this video and i will see you in my next one bye S -O -S, never guess, cause I know mama told me that I'm blessed but he never on the show get impressed cause I'm dope you don't smoke what you mean keep it potent as the green so you know this happy tree